Hello everyone and welcome to the course of public safety. So an important LTE application is public safety. That means initially we are going to use LTE in broadband data services and eventually we can use this for mission critical voice services. So that means we are going to use the LTE for public safety networks like we are using Tetra technology or project 25. So Public safety, it provides a mission critical voice, but only on an airband data. So for this, that means LTE to use the public safety networks, 3GPP has decided some features so that it can support the public safety networks. So let's understand the public safety criteria. So currently we are using Tetra in Europe and Project 25 in United States. So the government has made 20 megahertz of spectrum available at 700 megahertz in band number 14. That means if you see the band for the public safety networks, we are having band number 14 in 700 megahertz and the government has made 20 megahertz of spectrum available for this. So an independent authority has been built like we can see here NTIA. It stands for National Telecommunication and Information Administration. This basically this authority is to provide a nationwide public safety broadband network. So we will deploy the network AT and T will deploy the network and they will build the network. Now another country which is driving the use of LTE for the public safety is the UK. So UK is showing an interest to build the network public safety network with LTE. So using LT for public safety is a complex undertaking because public safety needs different approaches from the commercial network. So in order to address those needs, we require different features and those features as defined by 3GPP. So we are having some LT features for the public safety networks. Now let's see what are the features. Now these are the features that we do not require in a commercial networks. Like in a commercial network, we can use some features like sending an email we can use from the commercial network, accessing a database or streaming a video. But other than the features of the commercial networks, for public safety networks, we require some special features and these features are group communications, proximity based services, mission critical push to talk, mission critical video over LT and data over LT, prioritization high power, isolated operations and relays. Now these are the unique features that we require in a public safety network. We do not require these features in commercial networks. But some features of the commercial network we can use in our public safety networks like sending email, accessing database, etc. So we will discuss these features in detail in our next class. Thank you so much.